Soja requires rescue. Must break down offending door. Defensive protocol is online. Defensive protocols suspended. Made by Zosha. Genius. Hey, you! With the ears! How about a little assist here, eh? I'm nigh invincible. Alert, alert. Security compromised. Destroy all unauthorized personnel. Zoja, are you hurt? We came to rescue you, but judging from the fire and fallen inquest, you handled it well on your own. Not quite. It took all I had to get this far and hold them off. Thanks, by the way. I did not want to jump off this cliff. I hate getting wet. They've been testing your teleporter on more innocents. When they're done, the subjects are disposed of with a prototype incinerator golem. 
When I busted out, their next victim was behind a force field by the stairs. You probably saw him on the way in. I did. And it's time to get the inquest to cease and desist. Which means let's go smash us a prototype incinerator golem. Done and done. You take the lead. Mr. Sparkles and I will watch your back. One less mechanism for the inquest to exploit the innocent. Now for the bad news. Bark sold you out. I didn't want to say anything at first. I hate betrayals even more than getting wet. And I figured, hey, you might get killed and then I wouldn't have to tell you. Pragmatic as always. But I can't believe that about Vark. I've known him for ages and he's always been loyal to the crew. Not this time. Vark is working with the inquest. How else could they have known about our ambush plans? Why else would they kidnap Paul? Sorry, did I neglect to mention that too? They took Paul to keep him quiet and to use his leverage against you. That gives you a tough choice to make. Vark is slippery and Paul's in danger. Go after one, you'll lose the other. So tell me, what's more important to you, revenge or rescue? Whichever you choose, I'm coming with you. Nothing's exploded, right? That went smoothly enough. 